Tonight, we're catching up with a local group working on their latest attempt to build an autonomous boat to successfully cross the Atlantic. We first told you about it back in 2013. The original boat named Scout disappeared just weeks into its journey. Well, now with newer technology, the group is trying again. Meteorologist TJ Del Cento is here with the follow-up. If at first you don't succeed, try again. And that's exactly what a group of local boat builders are doing. The building of Scout 2.0 is underway. This is the hull of what will be a solar-powered autonomous boat, which will transit the Atlantic from Rhode Island to Spain by itself, a feat which has never before been done. Yeah, we, can either, we can either machine the core or... We first met the Scout team back in 2012 while they were still in college. They built the first Scout and launched it in 2013. Scout made it halfway across the Atlantic before contact was lost. There are a lot of theories, um, but we've sort of deduced that it was a software or electronic failure. Of course, the team was disappointed. The experience paid off, however. They all work in the marine industry now, some on the West Coast. Starting Scout 2.0 was a decision they made together. You would lose out on the learning experience that the old Scout was, and you would, lo and you would lose out on everything that we gained from it. Operating out of Brendan Pryor's boat fabrication and repair shop, Scout 2.0 is well underway. This Scout's a little bit bigger, um, has a little bit more solar power. Estimated speed um, is right now to be 3.5 to 4 knots, and the old Scout was averaged around 2.3 knots. Like the first Scout, 2.0 will use solar power to motor its way across the Atlantic, taking 30 to 40 days to land in the same port Christopher Columbus set sail in 1492. And they hope to start with their sea trials sometime in June with a launch sometime this summer. With the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.